first thing we're going to do here is take out two screws on the bottom. So we've got one on each side of the charging port. Uh, what that's going to do is going to allow us to take out the, the glass and digitizer and access all the internal components. Now be careful with these screws, they're pretty tiny and I've, I've dropped them before and it's an absolute nightmare to find them. If you can, I'd recommend using a magnet, just keep it nearby just to hold on to them. Um, I of course didn't think of that until I started working at this. There's a lot of dust coming out with them. Alright, so those two screws are removed. I'm just going to put those away quickly. There, I've got a little pop cap. I'll put them in there. And put them aside where I won't lose them. Alright, now that we've done that, we can use a, just a standard suction cup here. And we could get it nice and stuck. And that's a matter of just gently prying back. Make sure that the, this bottom end that you just loosened up that is going to come apart first. You want to kind of pivot on this side so you don't tear out all the cabling. There we go. So as you can see, I've got this lifted up. It's still attached down here. I'm just going to carefully open it up. Um, right away, I just detached cable number one. Uh, here, let me pivot this a bit. So we've got cable number one here. Cable number two there. Uh, number three is in kind of underneath there. Uh, you're gonna have to release all of those in order to attach this front uh, digitizer. So I'm gonna use one of our little whoops. Gonna use one of our pry tools here. Since number one's already detached, I won't show you that. But number two, just kind of pop it up. Now that two and three, or sorry, one and two are I can see number three there. Uh, this one, there's a little white strip you gotta lift up about 45 degrees. So now that's lifted out, I'm gonna use this and just kind of push it out. There you go. One, two, and three. And I've still got the suction cup on here. This kind of helps me hold on to it. And when I set it down, I use the suction cup as a prop just so I don't damage the screen.